Hello everybody, it is Alchemist OA, and we are here on the Kings of Utopia server. Uh, it's been a while, Thanksgiving holidays here in the States, and work, and just a mixture of everything combined kind of made me not get out of video recently, but I am back now, and today we are going to be working on the Spawn Village, and if you watched my last video, you knew I had no idea what I was really going to do on the server and I've taken it upon myself to lay out and start building the spawn village we're going to put plots in the certain areas where people can build shops and stuff and we're going to have like main street and inn slash tavern like deal and it's going to be really cool um, I've also been grinding for resources a lot need a lot of wood for the buildings um, stone lots of stone and just a whole lot of mining getting ready and I'm finally ready so let me switch my view put my helmet on and I have some nether rack here and we're going to lay out the village paths Oh, and I'd like you to meet my uh, mule here. He has no name. Yep. He's just kind of my um, work mule. Transportation. So, what I'm thinking here is we got this really flat plane. And I'm thinking it'd be like a great plane for a street to run down just not quite sure exactly where to lay it out. Don't watch that. Ooh. That one doesn't sound very nice. I, I just looked out my window and it's snowing. I thought we were rid of all the snow for a little bit. But looks like I was wrong. So I don't know how far I want this to go over this way. But the road's going to come... I'm just gonna go over this big hole here. Blup, 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 blup. It's gonna go. Just go. Hey, zombie. Huh. Okay, this is like a game. Huh. Huh. Oh, I messed up. Um, I'll probably go through this hill. I want to keep the main road pretty flat so we're probably going to level out this hill um, other roads branching off from this don't have to be quite as flat but I want the main main road to be flat alright so this is going to be like the main road and going this way about here going to go this way so, and this road doesn't have to be as flat as the main road you can have these little hills in it but I want the main main road to be completely flat kind of as a just like a base of the town just, no one's mined any of these caves it looks like you know there are people on the server but People don't tend to play a lot. Um, the three people who play the most are myself, uh, I has Quake, and Bing Komen. And I'm never really around when I record. But that's okay. I plan on doing some collabs with them. Like I said earlier in the video, I've just been extremely busy. Oh, eat some delicious steak. I have a stash of potatoes on my mule for when my steak runs out. Okay, so let's get up on a, a little thing and see just how this looks. Okay, so we have 
The main road's gonna come down here. It's gonna go across, probably further that way to about in between the mountains there, the hills or whatever you want to call them, the mounds. And then we have the side road branching off here. I think that looks pretty good. I'm liking that. Now we got to side the road width. Um, I'm thinking the road width. Well, I just got distracted. It's snowing even hard now. Um, thinking the road itself should be five wide, and then it's going to have a border. I think. I'm not worried about using stone. I have this beautiful efficiency 5, unbreaking 3 silk touch 1 pick with barely any durability off it. And this is my baby. She just cuts through everything. Stone related anyway. My sharpness 4 cuts through everything else. Sharpness 4 sword. Um, so, okay, so the path is going to be Road is going to be five wide. I want to have like sidewalks. So, say this is like the curb, and then I'm thinking about three after that. So, it'll be pretty wide. But, uh, yeah, I think that's a perfect, um, with the road and then you have your buildings that did start about here and that leaves room so you have your main path this is like um, where you have your horses and stuff probably and this would be kinda like a sidewalk and on this you could have um, lights would probably be right on this block and you could have little trees going up and down and benches near the buildings and it still leaves room for people to get through. Let's guess. Take a quick look again. Actually, I'm thinking materials. We need materials. I might replace stuff later on, but I'm thinking that's all wood. Let me just hmm. I want to look at some polished granite, maybe. I could have done that right for my inventory. I didn't need to use the workbench. thinking that that's probably a good color for the sidewalks are that or do I have any I only have eight I was thinking andesite but I don't have a whole lot of that maybe Stone bricks for the actual road. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we have the stone bricks for the actual road and the granite for the sidewalks. And I've got three pieces of this out. No, I have stone right on my hot bar. I don't know why I'm getting out of the chest use this as the border block so it actually be more like something like that except this would be down so these would be half slabs 
I don't like to call them half slabs. They're just they're either slabs or halves, I guess. Half slabs. All right, so that's what I think I'm gonna do. Lay that, sleep, sleep the night away. Oh, my tree's grew. I gotta chop down my tree. Burn, burn your stupid suckers. And. I'm going to work on the road, I guess. All right, guys. I dug out a ton of dirt, and I've laid down a ton of bricks, stone bricks, and granite, polished granite, and I think it looks pretty good. I feel it has that small town feel to it, almost. Like the reddish sidewalks and that were usually brick and have the road. And this it just provides a nice border. And it seems big and man blah, 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 big and empty now, but I figure once we got buildings going on the sides, the buildings will probably, you know, start out here, but they'll probably overlap here and maybe even this one. There's gonna be trees that are gonna come and they're going go over the road a bit and of course we're going to have lights so it's going to fill out nicely I do think but as you can see this is a small section compared to what I laid out we're not even to where it um, intersects with this other part here and I think that's going to be the, one of the main focal points of the town um, yeah right about here um, I want to build a the inn or tavern right on the corner where the two streets intersect the main street and this little side street and like I said I want to extend even further this way so this is a fraction of the size of what we need and I've gone through uh, stacks and stacks of resources already and all I have to show for it is lots of dirt. And these are stone. This is all stone I brought over from my mine. But I'm running out of that too. I don't think the stone bricks going to be a problem. But I definitely think the granite's going to end up being an issue. As this is all of it. It's all on me what I have left of the granite. And the sun's going down, so I'm going to sleep. Then I'm going to continue digging and try and get more of this laid out. So, and then I have to harvest these trees as soon as these three, four little suckers grow. Stick, good. Alright. So I'll be back in a bit. Ah, and it's a good morning here. And I was almost killed by a crazy Enderman. It was like hyped up. Like on meth or something. It was just all over the place. Like more than normal. Like a normal Enderman, I'll warp and I'll try and walk up behind you and hit you. But this thing was crazy. It was just... I can't even describe it. It was... It was on something, man. Crazy. Skeleton! Ouch. Oh, well, that was pathetic. Oh... Uh... I'm not too worried about wasting arrows. There's a skeleton spawner right by the spawn base here. So if I use up arrows, I can just grind out a bunch more. Um, it's not my skeleton spawner. I just I've been borrowing it. I even improved it for the guy who built it. Um, we need our. Granite. And I'm just going to build a bit of road here with you guys. 
show you how tedious and monotonous and wonderful it is to build this road. Huh, that'd be cool if there were granite steps. Not yet. Maybe future update. Uh, that's fine. I just keep messing up. Oh my goodness. I can't click and drag to save my life today. Okay. There we are. So it's very simple. We just go blah 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 thing and these are the sidewalks the place people should be walking although I bet most of the time they'll just walk down the street which is fine too even though it's made for hot rods but we don't have hot rods in Minecraft so we have some fast horses, I guess. Next best thing. Alright, so this is going to be tricky. Right here, because this doesn't go all the way. Because this is the middle, and this is seven. So this is going to be the border here. And then the sidewalk will be here. So that ends right exactly where it is. I don't think I'm going to do anything fancy to the corners, really. So that goes just like that. And it's it's snowing like crazy here. It just it was a little bit of flurrying, and now it's a full blown snow squall. I think that's the terminology. So this goes like that. I don't know if I like that though. I feel the sidewalk almost feels like it's just ending. When they're really it's it's not ending, it's just I don't know. I have to lay out the rest of the road and see how it turns out. Maybe it'll look better once I get more, um, dug out. It's brain freeze, like, huh, what, what, brain, what, what was I saying? What? Huh? Who am I? Okay. I don't think we had any. See, look, we save bricks by only doing these on the top half. It works. And also, I like the idea of having the street be half slabs. Because then mobs will spawn on them. So, get our streets going. See, it takes quite a while, and then it's going to go like this. We'll just use up the rest of these, and I'll get more later. Oh. Just have a little more. I have enough to finish. Yeah. This area, anyway. Okay. So there we are, that's that's what the road's gonna be like, essentially. Um, then there's the matter of setting up plots. And I want it to get redstone. And I'm not too sure of what the plot size should be. Maybe I I'll just mark it with uh, stone for now. So there's probably going to be little roads that will eventually connect to this. Such as I think there will probably be one that goes this way. 
There'll probably be a road here. Something small. It's like three wide. So it'd be like here. And since this is an actual road, it'll have a sidewalk on the edge. So I think it'll, it'll be a total of five wide for these little off branching roads. Nothing too wide, just enough to, um, you know, give you some room. The alleyways will only be like two or three wide. So right here we have our road. And then right here we'd have a building. I think it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. I think they're going to be 11 wide. I think odd numbers are good. So the plots will be like 11 wide each. And then they'll run deep. So it'll be like, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it'll be 11 by 21. the plots. I think that'll be plenty big and of course I'll have variation for when people want to build um, other structures. The plan though is to have the main street. The main streets all go and kind of have the same look. Um, to at least a certain amount of it it's a good stretch like this whole stretch will have like the same feel kind of steam going um down this way after the tavern i think it'll be uh free for build you know build what you want so you can have it function the way you want now, i'm guessing that area will probably be more popular with other players for building structures the way they want. And down this way, you'll probably, probably won't go too much further this way. But yeah, this whole thing's going to be like a... Hard to describe. A lot of wood. A lot of wood involved. That's what the tree farm's for. Um, yeah. So I'll have to... I'll have to give you guys a preview. I'm going to do. I'll probably build like one building to give you an example for when I start recording the next episode. Um, that's going to do it for this episode. I've been working for a long time now. About three hours I've been working on this. And I, I need to take a break. So I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and if you're not subscribed you can always subscribe so you're informed when I put out more videos we're going to be continuing to spawn town in the future so if you're interested in how to turn how the town turns out um, yeah click the subscribe button and you'll be informed of when the video comes out you can also follow me on Twitter I think Twitter is more reliable for letting you know when a video comes out on YouTube, to be honest. YouTube kind of sucks with that. It's like, half the time you don't even know there's new videos. And, yeah, see? The lighting's pretty good over here. If I space the lamps out, how far is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six or seven apart. If I space them six or seven apart, it should be plenty to light up the sidewalks, and the street really doesn't need to be completely lit up. I think this will turn out to be a really great build. It's just going to take a lot of time and effort. Uh, I've rambled on. Um, yeah, you know, leave a like, subscribe, love me, 
send me things. Well, I guess you can't send me things. I was going to say send me peanuts, and I'm like, why the heck would they send me peanuts? I like peanuts, but it's, that's a little weird. Um, I guess I'm thinking of baseball or something. I don't even like baseball, really. Uh, I like I like playing it I in like person. I don't really follow any teams. But, yep, yeah, that's going to do it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.